Welcome to Chinese with Yanzi. This is Chinese with Yanzi. I am Yanzi 老师 In English, we say Teacher Yanzi. In Chinese, we say Yanzi 老师 Yanzi 老师 I am a professional teacher. I have taught Chinese as a foreign language for one year. My students are from different countries, like America, British, Spain, Japan. Italy, Pakistan, Iran, India, Thailand, Japan, New Zealand, Russia, and so on. Some are students, some are teachers. Others do business in China. They are not only my students; they are also are my friends. Here, I hope you just consider me as your friend, and then we will learn together. Well, why did I decide to teach here? China has become a receptive to the foreigners and welcoming them. So many foreigners are heading to China to study, to do business, to do job, and to enjoy their life fully in China. Chinese is must, as we all know about the Belt and Road. From 2017 to now, there are more than 300,000 students who are from 204 countries studying in China. Some students are getting scholarships in China, so they must learn some Chinese before they come to China. If you learn Chinese in China, you must pay for the lesson. Here, my lessons are free. That's why I decide to teach here. Okay, Chinese. Why is it language with Difficulty to learn, and why more and more people are learning Chinese, even is difficult. Chinese is a symbolic language. It came into existence with images. First, it called pictogram. Okay. For example, what does it look like? It looks like a person, right? Okay. Today, the character is 人人 Okay. How about this one? It looks like a river, right? The running water. Okay, and now the character is 水水 Okay, one more. This is an eye. Okay, the character is 木木 I. Okay. The second one is ideogram. Like E R. Sun. The numbers one, two, three. Okay. And how about ideogrammatic? We know one person is 人 and how about two person?
percent. One percent. One percent follows one percent. Today it means to follow. To follow. The character is. 从从 OK. How about three percent? Three percent. It means multiple, and the character is 中中 multiple. OK. How about this one? One person nears a tree. It means to rest, to relax. Okay, and one more. If the eye with water. Okay, it means tear. The character is lay, lay. Okay, Chinese. How do we say in Chinese? Okay, please look here. In Chinese, we say "han yu han yu," or we can say "zhong wen zhong wen." Chinese has two parts. The first part is pinyin. This part is pinyin. The second part is character. This part is character. What is pinyin? It's like letters in your language. It shows the pronunciation about Chinese. After we learn it, we can use it for communication. How about Chinese character? We use it for reading and writing in daily life. It expresses the meaning of a word. Okay, pinyin has three parts. The first part is initial. There are twenty-one initials in Chinese, and the second part is final. Which is at the end of pinyin, and there are thirty-six finals in Chinese, and third part is tone. Which is above the final. We have four tones, and one more, the neutral tone. Okay, from today we will learn Chinese systematically. So we will learn together, and therefore I have decided my lessons friendly. At the beginning, we will learn about pinyin, including initials. Finals and tones, and then we will talk topics about daily. Maybe you ask, we need to pass H S K. No problem, I promise you. You will pass H S K easily after you learn it with me. And you will find Chinese can be fun and easy in my lesson. You can ask any about learning Chinese for me. Anyway, I hope you can enjoy my lessons. Learn with me. I will be back lesson two. See you.